past few weeks. Welcome back to Cityscape. Art lovers had much to marvel during this past few weeks. Among them, the Manila Bang Show, which opened to the public recently and is filled with diverse contemporary works from both local and international artists. Watch this. Contrary to what people thought would be challenging times for the art scene, artists persisted and turned challenges into opportunities. And Gallery Roberto's Manila Bang is a proud testament to some of the most valuable contemporary works in and outside of the country. So we do have uh, more than 170 contemporary artists from various parts of the world. Of course, most of them are from the Philippines. Although there are a lot of artists in their international exhibition called Interconnections. The Manila Bang Art Fest International 2021, a highly collaborative art event by seasoned curators, opened and ran from December 8 to 12 at Festival Mall Alabang. Boasting of a 2,000 square meter space filled with diverse contemporary artworks by local and international artists. <music> space filled with diverse contemporary artworks by local and international artists. The spectacle is centered on the Animate Proof of Life, an excerpt from Linda Pastan's 2011 Traveling Light that explores ephemerality, a tribute to growth, aging, and mortality. The whole exhibition, or the sets of exhibitions actually, embody proof of life because um, these are testaments that art is thriving despite the pandemic or despite a lot of restrictions uh, in the current situation that we're in. One of the most striking exhibitions deep in Manila Bank's wide hallways is Marge Organo's When Sand and Fire Collide. She plays with diffused light, evoking the visceral fear of fragile life, and suggests a wide hallways is Marge Organo's When Sand and Fire Collide. She plays with diffused light, evoking the visceral fear of fragile life, and suggests a myriad of human interconnections through multiple vibrant colors that will not succumb to anyone else's standards. I like color. If you notice my work, there's always a burst of colors. Like, I don't follow convention when it comes to colors. These uh, works are where I experimented on shapes and colors. And I believe that I was successful because I achieved what I really wanted to do with them. And since it's, it's brilliant, like I like brilliant things also, it, uh, and elegant, um, it, it, uh, it emits something that uh, makes you feel happy about it. Made from an imported type of glass used for chandeliers and optical lenses, Organa shares that creating her sculptures was labor-intensive. The glass required grinding and polishing to a very smooth finish before the layers can be sandwiched and laminated together. Thus, every color added meant she had to repeat the same tedious steps. Another local artist who is best known for the Pasasalamat sculpture in BGC was present in the exhibit. Ferdinand Cacno is famous for his intricately detailed sculptures that take inspiration from his home base, Malabon, a place that was then full of mangroves and bustling with fisher folk. His other works also reflect his life as a lively swing dancer through his youthful college years where he felt the most fascination in the discipline of ballet. Uh, I grew up in Malabon, surrounded by mangroves in Malabon. Eh. So, yan yung aking playground yan nung panahon ng bata pa ako. Then, I, as I grew older, lalo na nung college, uh, I used to dance. Marami ako mga friends noon na mga ballet dancers. Kaya nahilig din ako na manood ng mga ballet, mga ano, and then nakita ko yung discipline nila. So, sabi ko, pagtanda ako, I want to capture it na para bagang... Ito yung mga, mga dancing partners ko. 
Cockney said the pandemic reduces time for creating pieces to just thrice a week, which, combined with the rise in prices for his raw materials, created backlog in his creation process. However, he never lost sight of his passion for mirroring reality with his art. He powered through. The results are his trademark 360-degree sculptures that aim to let people know that artwork can be also animated and appreciated at various angles. Out of the many art exhibits worthy of attention, master artist Raul Isidro sticks to his full bravado in painting abstracts with rhythm in use. Like a melodic symphony balanced with the use of high-strung notes and contemplative arrangements, his compositions were inspired by the landscapes to be found in his native Samar. I've been like, working with this subject matter for the past 56 years. I started in 1965 when I graduated. The my work is like an, an abstraction of uh, nature. Mostly paintings of nature, about the sky, about the landscape, like, and all that you can see. Hindi alam na iba. There's so much beauty in it that you can develop an abstract painting. Isidro's astounding colorful pieces utilize water-based acrylic, which is said to dry faster and integrate really well in the canvas and lessen his carbon footprint. For the past two years, he's also faced the same struggles in the mundanity, but continued to work every day in order to fan the fire of his art and develop it amid the slow life. Aside from the collection of the exhibits, the festival also hosted online discussions with diverse practitioners and artists in the art scene, with topics ranging from the introduction to the art market to collecting contemporary art. These quarantined artists, whether they were restlessly inspired or perturbed, were one in their common struggle due to the current global situation all channeling their inner thoughts into their chosen mediums to create truly stunning works of art. Finally, we're revisiting some iconic pieces from a popular Italian furniture brand's 55-year history.